Another guest making his debut on the show today is an old team, and, and I've got to say, one of, the, one of the funniest, great lad, great, great lad, David Bentley. Oh, my we had a good, it was brilliant, mate. What oh, a team, we had a Blackbird there. That was brilliant, wasn't it? What a laugh. Wasn't that it? done me in. When I left there, I couldn't face it anymore. I was, <laughs> I was depressed for years. <laughs> <laughs> it's a problem. I was. I spent half my time here just like that. Oh, I want to go back to Blackburn. I loved it there. <laughs> Uh, I remember brilliant. that game you played, that you, you were involved in when you scored the, the hat trick against Man United. Yeah, when he set me up. Yeah. Oh, did you never mention that? No, I yeah, did, did like to. Did you know? No, hey, like to not told you. <laughs> <laughs> he's never mentioned that. <laughs> he, I don't like yeah, he said about for himself, about a year mate. every day I set you up. Did he? Yeah. This show's about our guest, not about me, then. Oh, well, yeah. blimey, there's a change of tone. Mickey Gray set the <laughs> winner for Morton Gams Pearce at Old Trafford, and yes. then I set the winner for David with his hat trick. Have you still got the ball? Still got the ball, yeah. Yeah. That was memorable, that game, for two things for me. Your performance, but also the struggles of Evera and Vidic. And you looked at those two that night and thought, they can't possibly be a success in the Premier League. I remember Barry Horn was doing the commentary with me on the radio that night, and he Didn't said he? they were falling over, tripping up, and Barry Horn made the comment, he said, all we need now are the exploding cars. They were like clowns yeah, back there. Didn't and Rio head one back to, to the fantastic. goalkeeper? Yeah, he weren't so happy about that. And the penalty, no. and he got sent off that day. Yeah, I did an interview the day after, didn't I? I said, oh, thanks for setting it up. <laughs> got the hunt, didn't I? Yeah, it is. <laughs> There's a surprise. <laughs> so what happened when you left Blackburn, you cut the Spurs, why did you fall out of love with football? Yeah, no, I love football, no, but it's I just didn't I don't think I had it the right mentality to do it, no. Well, because to... at Blackburn, at Blackburn you'd come in every day, you were the one of the hardest work trainers, you loved it, you loved the dressing room banter. Yeah. You had everything. You know, people think... were saying you were like the next David Beckham. You had everything. So I just in my head, and I don't yeah. know what Joey will think, to see some of your talent and then after Spurs, you just went. Nobody knew where you were, and yeah. I just we were saying like I couldn't understand because you loved it. Yeah, I just think I didn't deal with it very well. You know, a lot of things happen in your personal life, and loads of things are happening. I just I'm not wired up to deal with things like that. You know, you're better off if you're a bit, I would say, a bit robotic, isn't you? You bit, you know, you come in nothing. I was a bit. You were worrier. Yeah, think about, it. probably think about it too much, and then just just started to not like it. You know, social media come in and. Some more focus, more money, and yeah, I just lost interest in it. Yeah, I did just, it change then during your career? Did yeah. you see a change? Yeah, when when I first started at Arsenal, it was I was a young player, fifteen, used to go in. It was like Ray Parler, Adams, and it just used to be fun. You getting paid to go in, you're like this. Oh, this is what I want to do because this it's not like the real world. You're, it's a privilege to go in every day. For me now, it's like a job. You go in, you focus, you got to diet. This, you know, it's, it's mentally you got to be really strong. And, yeah, I was just... Do you stayed at Blackburn? Do you think you might have... You, would have been a longer career, do you think? Yeah, maybe, but it changed there as well, didn't it? It's money come in and, and, and changed the whole sort of mentality of the whole can, club. Can you see wh wh where he's coming from? Because you're quite cerebral. You think about things like... You're an analyser, aren't you? And, and when you listen to what, what David says about how his mindset changed during the course of his career, can you... Can yeah, you well, I, I remember that? Benz came in in the 21 squad. I think you and Andrew Davis from, from Borough yeah. got called up. He was like kind of in and around the squad. And I always remember his technique. I always remember him because he looked a bit like Bex and it looked like he'd styled, you know, certainly your crossing technique on <laughs> I love it! Yeah! <laughs> Get in there! <laughs> yeah, you can pay me for that one later. Yeah, yeah. Is, so I wish sometimes you got slightly thicker skin because you've got thick skin. You can Rhino take skin. all that and you can, you can, you can grow from it. It spurs you on. It's, it's the kind of thing where you think, well, I'll show these and you, you go again. Yeah. But do you wish sometimes when you look back and think, if I got thicker skin, I might. Oh, yeah, I won't, I won't sort of go home crying and sort of. I won't. I would take things. I think that's how you get to be a player. You know, you got to deal with a lot. But for me, it just become a bit of a weight on your shoulders. No matter what you did outside the ground, I loved mm. the life, the lifestyle, and, and everything. You know, and when we were at Blackburn, it was like we right. started at Arsenal, and then we went. I went to Norwich on loan. Same mentality. It was just playing golf, doing this. No, you could play golf. Oh, you shouldn't be playing golf. You shouldn't be doing this. You shouldn't be doing that. You're having a beer with like where well, you're eating your dinner. Oh, he's a yeah, drunk. Is it like, yeah, 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 you know, and it's for me. It just become. Remember got when you got the England was... squad. Remember you got the England squad. We were on a night out with me. <laughs> oh, you did. <laughs> <laughs> me up, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, but I took it. Then I was all nervous because in training we were, you know, all week. It's like you get you get this phone call off of the manager on Friday morning, eight eight thirty. So he does. Everyone knows eight thirty. You got to have your phone on you. I will get some phone call. Sven, wasn't it? Was it? Yeah. Who was it? 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 Was
And I, and it's him, and I honestly thought it was McLean. Private number. The whole conversation, and he's going, yeah, you've done well, you're a great player. I'm going, fast. thank you so much for this. Did you not realise it? It's an honour. It's an honour. I'm, I'm sitting, and he's just ah. there going, OK, David. Like, where? <laughs> so I come off the phone. I'm ringing everyone in the England squad. <laughs> It was me. Half, you? half an hour later, I get another phone. But it's actually Steve McLaren going. <laughs> I'm going. What? You just rung me. <laughs> He's getting the train, and I'm driving all the lads are there. Oh, Steve McLaren's oh, not British. Welsh, by the way. No, but you, <laughs> did you do an accent? Did you? Yeah, yeah. 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 It wasn't the Dutch one, was it? <laughs> oh, the Dutch. Uh, no, no. I shouldn't really say that, should I? Yeah, no, I'm sorry, yeah. No, take a little bit back. of French for yeah, you. Yeah, a little yeah. bit of French again. <laughs> I was 16, 17 playing the Arsenal. I was just going around like way with the fairies. I was loving it. <laughs> Everyone was looking at me like, he's mad, isn't he? <laughs> but I just enjoyed it. You just, For me, it was. And I was playing for the England youth teams. You, you're on TV and, you, you, yeah, I was loving it. I loved it. I that, loved that, every that, That's what it. surprised me about it. Like, obviously, you know, you finished so young and not had a massive injury. Mm. And obviously, seeing you as a young lad and obviously seeing the, the ability you had was how... You know, you, you seem to thrive on the yeah, limelight. Yeah, loved it, loved it. And now when I hear you say this, I'm like, wow, yeah. that's, that's really interesting. Do you ever really miss it? I've just got to the point, you know, you change as you get older, mm. don't you? I think you... I got to a point, I was just like, this is boring. I was going into training, there was no... No one talks, you just went in, had a massage, you know, everyone's, like, getting ready for the game. And there was no, like... He used to, like, <laughs> chop me clothes up and nick all me... <laughs> nick me shoes. I used to get... You know, when I was young, like, when you went in, like, you were a bit scared to go... It was like you, you were butterflies. I was going in, I'm going to get caned here, you know, you had a new car or... Your car would be nicked or... Do you know, I find... It would the, be fun stuff happening, I, wouldn't it? I, I find the psychology of that really interesting because David's saying there that he liked all of that. And I, that but, I loved it. But, oh, you know, but the, you, you find the cross-section of players who dread that. They like the quiet life. They like the massage and nobody speaks to them so they can just get on with it. It's amazing, isn't it? You get the different characters and some people yeah. thrive in different situations. And, and what you loved, thrived on, needed, other people, footballers, yeah. would dread. They'd be yeah, thinking, no. oh, no, I don't want to be the centre of attention and have my clothes cut up and you get hammered be... by, by Sav in the morning. You don't want to be of... exposed, yeah, that's the thing. No, like... some people wouldn't like that, would they? Yeah, do you some know players now? didn't, but it helps. Do you, do you like watching football, then? Yeah, I love you it. You still love it? Oh, I love football. I love it. Well, crossing the white line, I love it. You know, when you're out there, brilliant. It's just the So if you could get rid of all that and just play every week, you'd... Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you you're still play it. now with your, like, your mates and that? No. Well, I'd have a kickabout, yeah. Five aside, isn't it? Yeah, little kids kicking the ball, yeah. Yeah. So what are you doing now? I live out in Spain now. Yeah, um, we got restaurants over there, La Sala. Yeah, better advertise it. Yeah, well, there it is. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's yeah. the agent. Look at him. Just for you. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Just for you. That's me there. Yeah. Look. yeah. And you're, um, open, you're opening a new one, haven't you? Yeah, we've got we've got one opening uh, in Chigwell, and just looking we're looking for some more venues at the minute. But we've got eight or nine sort of venues and. Beach Do you love and, the lifestyle now? Like yeah. you said, living in Spain. Yeah, my kids are out, we were out all the time. Yeah, I want to live my life and live a good one. I don't want to be... See, when it got to 28 and I thought, and I finished it, I went over to Russia, I went back, and I was trying to get back into it, I was trying to get... And I just couldn't find it, and I thought... What made you think you could sign... fall back in love with it in Russia? What, when you, what, when you thought... Oh, this, that's this probably a bad example, right? Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you went to Marseille and fell back in love yeah. with it. I could see that. You went to Russia and it didn't quite work. No, it didn't quite work out, but I thought... I'd, yeah. yeah, but I thought I could get away from things and go there right. and just, just play football and, and not have all the other stuff that comes with it. But living here as well, you know, everywhere I went, every everyone knew who I was. I just was like, it just got to the point where I weren't enjoying it. And I thought, shall I sign another two, three years somewhere else and keep this same life going? Or shall I, you know, I had the twins, two-year-old twins, and I thought... Are you glad? Because obviously you were so successful at Blackburn, did well at Spurs. Mm. Are you glad you try to find that buzz by going to Russia, by going to Birmingham, by yeah. going out all... And then, because when I retired, I knew that was it. Yeah. So by you trying to explore them avenues to think, do I still love it? You've tried it, it didn't work, so you, you were happy to finish. Yeah, I was trying. No regret. Yeah, there was no... I wasn't... There was no big problems with me. I was, I was still trying to train and still trying to keep myself, you know, fit and so on. I remember we played Cardiff away for Blackburn. I thought, we'll go back there. Got a chance to go back where... I love playing and the whole place had changed and it was a difficult place again. The manager when I went in got sacked after a month and I was involved in another and I remember playing uh, away at Cardiff and I, I got took off after six days. I come back, I said to the guy, it's my last game I'll ever play and that was it. 